Hello guys, welcome back to my Ratchet and Clank 2 going commando locked and loaded let's play. In the last episode, we explored planet Sybaris, I think it was called. Yeah, let's have a little look. Sybaris, yeah, I guess you could pronounce that but that way. And this episode now we get to explore in this desert world and we've we've ended up stuck in here because of thanks to Mr. Fizz widget. Yeah, snipe these guys from here. If it's headshot, they die straight away. I should that guy in the head, see if it one shot kill. Nope, missed him completely. And come on, stand still. Yeah! Was that one? Yeah, it was. Actually, before we carry on, let's go refill my ammo for my sniper rifle. Where is it? Pulse rifle ammo. So this is called the Pice r Pulse rifle, not a sniper rifle. I guess I have to remember that. I think the sniper rifle from Ratchet Clank 3 has a different name. I'm not sure what a different name is. I'm not going to use it to snipe enemies. Okay, it's, um, yeah, it's use Seeker. I need to upgrade that. I'll just stand here and let the Seeker gun do all the work. I'm going to be very lazy about it. <laughs> Look how easy that is. The Seeker gun's actually pretty good. I think it was actually really worth a buy. I was, I had second thoughts about buying it, but I'm actually really glad I did. It's actually quite a handy weapon. I've never, I don't think I've ever brought that weapon before in this game, and I actually cannot wait to upgrade it to see how powerful it can get. So I think it'll be quite interesting to see how powerful this weapon can get. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need... Ooh. Hey, little rat. Okay, see so if I can... Let's use the chopper here. Chopper's gonna come in handy here, so I need to upgrade some more weapons. I need, definitely want to upgrade this as well. And the chopper is mugging these guys right up. Okay, let's get some more bombs. Hey, you're still alive. Get on the floor. You little shit. Okay, get rid of these. Uh, sorry I didn't upload any videos throughout the weekend, guys. I, I was very busy over the weekend. Saturday I went to go watch Bang Racing at my local... At my local um, track stadium. Yeah, it's a dirt track stadium near my hometown. I went to go to watch some banger race, and that's why I wasn't at any uploads for the weekend. And Sunday, I went to go to my uncle's. Went to my uncle's for a barbecue. So it's no, sorry for no uploads over the weekend. Yeah, I had a good weekend, and I'm finally back with some more uploads. I've got quite a busy week ahead, but but yeah, I'm definitely got some more videos on the way. And what have we here? It says, in case of emergency, break glass with wrench. Hold on. This one says. Use rock to break glass to get wrench to break glass to get rock. Ooh, I love logic puzzles. Let's see if you break the glass with a solved it. Your wrench now does more damage. I have a new wrench in the heist. My wrench does more damage. That's really going to come. And we've got a vendor here too. More ammo, please. Thank you. Nice. Okay, let's get this. I'll use the. Shall I use the chopper here? Yeah, see, so why not? These guys aren't going to come after me. These guys don't shoot anything. These guys won't hit me if I use the, chop the chopper. Cool, look at all this. This reminds me of the Bing Reflexor so much in Jack 3. Because all the all the ammo bounces everywhere. I wouldn't say this one is as powerful as a Bing Reflexor because... In my opinion, what makes a Bing Reflexor more superior is the fact that it can hold much more ammo in the weapon. Although saying that, I wouldn't say the... The bullets and the beam reflex are ricochet as much as the chopper does. Yeah, but I do. I think the fact that the beam reflex has more ammo in it definitely makes it a bit more superior. Ratchet will run out of ammo much quicker. Yeah, I think that's why the beam reflex is slightly more superior in the third Jack and Daxter game. Come on, I want this weapon upgraded. My nanotech increased. Nice. Okay, I'm going to do some sniping here. Peace up, piss. That's a sniper from TF2. I love playing a sniper from that game. I don't usually, I don't usually use snipers massively in video games. Only when it comes to campaign purposes. But in multiplayer games, I really, really love using the sniper in Team Fortress 2. Well, in Team Fortress 2 anyway. I don't really, I don't play as a sniper as much as other classes. Though, don't get me wrong, but I don't play as use a sniper much in like Call of Duty or Battlefield or any of those games. And what do we have down here? Ah, nothing. I can't do that. You have three seconds. One, two, three. Ah! 
Whoa! He's a she. This changes nothing. Where's the experiment? We have returned it to Mr. Fizz, Widget. Oh, you've just put the whole galaxy in imminent danger. But, but... I don't have time to stand around explaining it to you. If you have any intention of fixing the mess you've made, watch this. Oh, no. Good thing that wasn't little Susie. Here at the Megacorp Testing Facility, we make sure the products you buy are safe for you and your family. These are just a few of the products we've rejected to help keep you safe. The Tiny Tot Slingshot, the Nuclear Mousetrap, Self-Wedgifying Underwear, and the Lawn Ninjas. So the next time your toaster doesn't explode in your face, say a little thank you to the Megacorp Testing Facility. Wow, she's got a few bolts loose. What does a testing facility have to do with galactic danger? I am unsure. However, I believe we should investigate that location. Well, we're gonna need a new ship. Yeah, the thief is a she. I was when I first played this game, I was never expecting that. I'm like, whoa, what the hell? Okay, we have another guy to talk to over here. Oh. Hello, sir. Hey, that's my ship. Possession is an illusion. Do not all things belong to the cosmos? Uh, no. That's definitely mine. This vessel suffers from wounded chai. Only the power of the crystals can hope to heal it. Crystals, sir? Crystals? Like those found in the desert? Beyond. Oh. Oh. Well, we don't have any better ideas. Let's go grab a few crystals. You need 10 crystals to repair the ship. And this is the planet with the crystal grab. And I said in some episodes back of how how much replay value this part of the game brings. Okay, let's go to the vendor. Do I need any more ammo? Yes, I do. Definitely gonna need more ammo for crystal grabbing. You'll think, why would you need more ammo for crystal grabbing? You'll see why. You'll see why. You'll just think, there. Yeah, crystal grabbing, all you need to do is grab crystals, but don't be fooled. Here's the big desert. This is how big the desert is. There is loads of crystals to grab. Yeah, you'll definitely be spending a good time grabbing crystals in here. I'm not going to collect every single one, don't get me wrong, so otherwise I'll be here all day. Seriously, I'll be here all day. I've never done that in the Ratchet Clank games either. I've never managed to collect every single crystal either, because I'm not wasting my time with it. However, in Ratchet and Clank 3, I have collected every single crystal in that game, because we all know how much I love Ratchet and Clank 3. Well, if you don't, I'll show you guys why I love Ratchet and Clank 3 so much once I play that game after this game. And yes, guys, I'm definitely playing Ratchet and Clank 3 after this game. I cannot leave Ratchet and Clank 3 out. If I play Ratchet and Clank 1 and 2, I'll be sad if I leave Ratchet and Clank 3 out because that one is my favourite. So I'm definitely not going to play Ratchet and Clank 3 after Ratchet and Clank 2. No excuses. Okay, here we go. Here's, here's a big enemy. Some crystals have bigger enemies than others, and I just whooped that guy's ass with two mini nukes. See, I love my new wrench, it's so cool. Yeah! Yeah, he's a funny character, that guy in the desert. When he goes, ow! Ow! I literally thought that was his language. I thought he wasn't going to say anything else other than that. But he does, he actually speaks. Sort of. He has a crooked voice, but that's not surprising, because he is an old man after all. Yeah, so that's not his fault. Okay, I'm gonna get... Oh, pulse rifle. Can I snipe the crystal? Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm gonna need a sniper on this guy as well. Or the pulse rifle, I think this is called. Pew. Come on, die. I'm gonna shoot him again. There we go. He's down. I wasted all my ammo on that. Uh, that was not worth it. Uh, let's get the Seeker out when I've only got a few ammo left. Go on, Seeker, do your thing. That's a waste of a Seeker ammo. And another one. Oh my god, the mean looks perfect against this thing. I, re I lost some now tech really badly against that guy. I'll get rid of this before I get my arse whooped. Okay, is there enough crystal? I'm, unless I did pick it up. Um. Oh no. Wait. There we go, and let's get this crystal. I will collect a few more than 10, I think. Yeah, I'll just collect all the crystals that are around here. Yeah, I don't see why not. 
all collect the crystals that all the crystals, well, most of the crystals that I see around here. Yeah, I don't see why not. Because we need 10 crystals to repair Ratchet's ship, which Mr. Fitch would have destroyed. I knew there was something funny about that man. Why, I, I thought to myself when I first watched that cutscene, why did, why did he portray, launch Ratchet and Clank out of his ship? And I'm like, wait, something's not right here. Yeah, and I, I never understood that when I first played this game, but when I saw the thief, yeah, show her, her, her true identity, I thought, okay, now it's starting to make sense of it. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I, re I have said I'm not a fan of this game's story, and I'm really not. It's not the worst story I've ever seen in the video game, don't get me wrong, but this get the game's story in this game, in my opinion, left me a bit disappointed as well. And the final boss for the, in this game for me was also disappointing as well. Why haven't I just been killed? That doesn't matter because I've got the crystals. Here you go, man. I've got the crystals. Yes, the crystals are spiking the money with a single voice. Oh, oh. oh. That was pretty impressive. Bring me more crystals, and I'll pay you cold hard bolts. Huh? Oh. Here's some bolts for you. Oh. There are 88 crystals remaining in the desert. Alright then. I'm not going to get every single one now because I'll be here all day. But before I'm going to refill my ammo before I do anything else. But before I leave, if I go down here, there's another path we can take. I need to go down here because because there's a useful gadget down here that I must get if I am to progress through this game. Okay, I'm going to use the Seeker here. Wait, there we go. Come on, take your shots. Feel the wrath of my Seeker. Yeah, I really love the crystal grabbing this game. It's so addicting. I definitely prefer the Gladiator Arena, but the Gladiator Arena and the... Um... Oh no, I'm going to need the... Hang on. I'm going to have to get the quick select back out. Yeah, I definitely prefer the battle arenas over the crystal grabbing, and I need the Ferminator. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, here we are. Freeze. Ow. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get a heavy lance. I'll just use the lance from these guys. I could use my wrench, but, yeah, too late now. What I know what I need to do, of course. When I first played this game, that really confused me. I'd always jump along here and it would always fall down. I would not get a ratchet, would not jump high enough to get up. And I'm thinking, what am I doing wrong? I then realised how to get the Terminator out. Okay, I know what I need to do here. You think, oh no, what do I do here? But it's actually quite simple what you need to do here. Let me get rid of you. Yeah! Feel the wrath of my new wrench. Okay, I'm gonna. Go on here, and we're going to freeze this. Can you see that water here? As it's frozen, we can actually wall jump along it. Here, watch this. Ratchet's hands must be freezing doing that. <laughs> let's get some nanotech. Right, let's head through here, and I'll get, let's get the Seeker gun. Get rid of him. If I glide down here, where we've got even more arse wipes to take out. I hate these creatures. These creatures are the first ratching. Well, actually, these creatures do look a bit different from the ones I'm thinking about in the first ratching game. Here we have the glider. You got the glider. X to launch the glider. All right. I actually quite like the glider. Some glider challenges game are actually quite tough as well. I actually do die quite a few times in them. Just don't hit anything, because then this glide thing is all over. Yes, if you hit something even once, Ratchet's Glider will just lose control and it'll fall straight down. Pretty much. I, I have no idea what these tower things are and I don't actually care. I'm just going to continue. And if we head here, I think there should be a Platinum Bolt here. Cool. Nice. Okay, let's go return to town. And we're back here. Let's refill my ammo. I think that's everything done here. All missions complete. Yes, it is. Of course, we can, we haven't got all the crystals, but luckily in this game, that is an optional mission. You don't have to do it to beat the whole game. I think that's everything. Yeah. 
So I've collected enough crystals for now, and I'll, I'll maybe I'll get more crystals in my spare time for you, mate. All right? Oh! Okay, if we head to the testing facility on Dobo now, explore the testing facility. Hey, see if you can find anything worth watching. Welcome back to Behind the Hero. In yet another setback for the embattled Captain Quark, the Galactic Court ordered him to pay six billion volts in damages to citizens suffering from personal hygienator syndrome. Only two days later, Quark was arrested trying to flee to Pokotaru. The one-time hero, now full-time Zero, was placed in custody awaiting trial. But the next day it was discovered that he had escaped, flushing himself to freedom. We will return to Behind the Hero after these messages. It said that Cassian Captain Quark went to Planet Pocketaro. Lucky guy. If you remember Planet Pocketaro in the first game, that was such a nice planet to explore. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video. That really helps me out a lot. And in the next episode, we get to explore this re weapon facility. And before I go, I'm going to get the Fernator back out. There we go. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. To keep up to date with all the Ratchet Clank videos out there to my channel, because that would mean so much to me. You, yeah, you'll really make my day if you do. That would mean so much to me. And next episode, we'll explore this facility. There's quite a few challenges here as well. It's actually quite a tough place. I'm not going to lie. Okay, guys, thank you all for watching. This is Goldie X, and I'm out.